Hello, my name is Wong Jingling. I'm from Group 8. Now I'm going to start our presentation about the problem-based learning PBL of algebra. First, what is PBL, problem-based learning? In my understanding, PBL is a student-centered learning. Truth, uh, inquiry and collaboration, us students can cultivate the problem solving, engage in learning and have motivation to solve a problem. For us, we are assigned to solve two algebra questions which based on real life situations. What should we do to achieve the process of learning, understanding and lastly solving the questions? First, we do research to define the problem. Then, we share and discuss our own understanding and opinions toward the questions based on the research we did. We list out all the ideas we get in uh, we get from understanding the problem in the form of fila table, which F means facts, I means ideas, L means learning issues, and A means action plan, or in other words, the resources we needed. Fila table is actually helping us to organize our learning process. These steps we did will eventually uh, lead us to finish solving the problem, and uh, we can learn about the topics and concepts which bring out by the problem. Next, my groupmate will explain the fila table and solutions of the two questions. Thank you. Hi and assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nurai, Medika Marudin, AA200C18. Today, I would like to talk about fila table from question one. So the thing that I get uh, from uh, question one is you and your friends want to start an online clothing business. Each of you have four friends as a downline as or as the second generation. Able to get four members for each generation, draw a diagram about the generation, find the differences about the ratio, make a conclusion based on the answer. So the ideas that I get to solve the question is you must sketch a diagram, use a geometric progression and use the formula to solve the question. And the last one is you must write a conclusion. And the learning issue that you must know before you answer the question is you must know which topic you must learn to answer the question. You must um, know what kind of formula that you must use in the question and what kind of calculation technique is suitable to solve the question. And the last one is you must know which keyword that you must highlight to solve the question. So we have uh, made some search on YouTube on internet and from the calculus book to solve the question. I'm Shasha, and in this video, I will explain to you about the Villa table regarding to the second question. Villa stands for Facts, Ideas, Learning Issues, and Action Plan. So, we will go through one by one starting from Facts. The first one, your brother wants to buy a new iPhone which costs 999 ringgit. Second, he saved 150 ringgit for the first month. Third, then you gave 50 ringgit every month. Fourth, Total money has been saved for first 4 months. 5. Find differences between each month and the ratio. 6. Make a conclusion from the answer. Actually, all these 6 facts are on the question. You can just take it and put it on the table. We move to the next columns, which is ideas. Ideas are actually the ways we use to solve the question. So first, use arithmetic progression. Second, use formula to solve the question. And last, write a conclusion. So the third section will be learning issues. We have four issues here which the first one is which topic must learn to solve the question. Second, what kind of formula need to be used in this question. Third, what kind of calculation technique is suitable to solve the question. Four, which keyword must be highlighted in the question to solve the question. So the last part of this filler table is action plan. We use this column to put our uh, references such as name of the books or link of the websites that we use to find a way how to solve the question. 
obviously we will refer to the calculus book which made by Professor Nafisa who is our professor and second we made a search on the internet using the link given so that's all about Fila table question tool I will pass it to my friend to elaborate more about the other section Assalamualaikum and hi my name is Sushari Jasmine bin Muhammad Razi and I'm from group 8 now I will show you on how I answer question 1 from this PBL questions. The question is you and your friend start an online clothing business. You and your friend each has 4 new members as the second generation. Assume that each generation is able to get 4 new members. And for question number 1A, it is asking you to draw the diagram for it and this is the diagram. And for the question B1, he's asking you the difference between each generation. And the difference, we find out that the difference between each generation is not the same. As we can see here, on the left side, we did this Jalan Kira for we to understand better besides using the diagram. And then when we get the answers for each generation, we find the difference between each generation such as second generation minus first generation which is we get six and then third generation we minus with second generation which really we will get 24 and then fourth generation minus with third generation which we will get 96 question one and for the question one b2 it is asking you the ratio for the second generation with the first generation and the third generation with second generation both of it has the same ratio and that is 4 it is the same as it gets as generation gets down the line to find the ratio we need to use this formula which is t2 divided by t1 in our cases we use second generation divided by first generation it also equals to third generation divided by second generation and both of it has the same ratio and that is 4 and for question B2 the conclusion based on 1 and 2 from first from the B1 we get that the difference are not the same as the numbers of generation get bigger and bigger as it went down the line of these generations and for question B2, we get that the ratio is the same and that is 4 because from the question itself, it stated that each generation able to get 4 new members. And that is my answers for it. And I will pass it down to my friend Yashini. Hi, my name is Yashni. I'm from Guru 8. I will explain about the solution for the question 2. Your brother, who is in secondary school, wants to buy a new iPhone which costs 999 ringgit. For the first month, he managed to save 150 ringgit and each month thereafter you gave him 50 ringgit. A. This is the total amount of money your brother saves for the first 4 months. That means we need to find the sum of the first 4 months. In order to find the sum of the first 4 months, we need to apply this formula Sn equals to n over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 bracket d That means n is equals to nums, number of terms which is 4 And then a is referred to the first term which is 150 And then d is referred to common difference which is 50 after I apply this formula, I will get the final answer 900 ringgit. Next, based on A, what is difference between each month? To find the common difference between each month, we need to find the difference between each month. For the first month, I get 150 and the second month, I will get 200 and third month, I will get 250 and the third, fourth month, I will get 300. The sequence will be like 150, 200, 250 and 300. So the difference between each month will be 50. Next, what is ratio of the second month with the first month and the third month with the second month? 
for the fir for the first one ratio of the second month and first month you will get 4 over 3 and then the ratio of the third month and second month you will get 5 over 4 that means the ratio is not the same based on roman 1 and roman 2 what is your conclusion the conclusion is based on roman 1 and roman 2 this question is the academic series the difference between two consecutive terms is 50 so the sequence of the 150, 200 and 250, 300 is an Akitami series with a common difference 50. Thanks for watching. Thank you.